Hey guys, so in the last episode, we just pieced out with the Ottomans and we've taken a bunch of provinces, basically all the ones, um, well, all the coastline, well, most of the coastline anyways, and we're gonna have to probably fight at least two more wars with the Ottomans in order to fully drive them out of the, uh, uh, well, out of Asia Minor, but that's fine. Um, I think we got them under control now, especially as long as we have the Mamluks on our side, they at least are not able to, you know, expand in any direction. Now, whatever, uh, well, however, I need to use this time in order to expand myself. Now, we currently have some rebels about to rise up. We have a lot of overextension, obviously. So, all problems we're going to have to deal with. Low manpower, but we do have quite a lot of money. I actually spent some uh, right now just to build a building, but we're making some decent cash, plus 10 gold, which mostly is because uh, we only have a third of our uh, force limits. But anyways, uh, so we're gonna have to pick some easy fights and there's a lot of easy targets around, especially in this region. Gazikumu, um, Georgia, Circassia, Crimea, Theodoro, even Poland now is very weak. And um, we could also go to war with Venice right now, but um, they have two, two strong and two powerful allies, unfortunately. They have Bohemia in there with 25,000 men. Tuscany is pretty strong. Uh, so I don't want to really pick on them just now, but I might want to pick on uh, the Knights, actually. Because that would actually... Actually, I might do that. But, but yeah, Austria doesn't want to join in on that. That's the problem. If Austria was to join in on that, I could actually go to war with Venice. Now, basically, here's what I want to do. I just wanted to let you guys look at the map, especially this region is very interesting. And just have a look around while I uh, go off camera because I'm going to probably do a lot of these small battles, um, you know, against Theodora, for example. I'm going to do that off camera and then come back once you're ready for a big war like maybe Hungary or the Ottomans again or maybe Venice or even, you know, some other nation. So I just want to quickly tell you that maybe I'm even going to get a lunch with Muscovy. Anyways, so I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, so I just uh, finished my war with Theodora, you annexed them and now I'm actually uh, about to peace out Crimea. So we're going to take uh, four provinces that we have a claim on some money and war operations and we're definitely gonna have to see a piece I I kind of overestimated um, I guess my own strength I mean we have a lot of money our economy is good but that's the only thing that's good I've basically just um, been keeping up my manpower because I just threw many at the problem we have many rebels that actually rose up so I had to increase the uh, autonomy and all that kind of stuff it wasn't really all too good but I had to do it um, and didn't we didn't we send the Peace deal? Alright, there we are. Okay, so we've just taken over a bunch of lands over here in Byzantine Crimea, so that's very nice. Still, it's not connected, but obviously it makes our um, nation look much stronger here. We have a couple of rebels. I don't know, they're going to go to Ingil, so maybe we're going to fight them there. That would be amazing. Uh, we have only one cavalry here. We have most, most of our forces are indeed... Um, Mercenaries, which is a problem, but I think we are ready to actually ally Muscovy now. They like us, which is pretty cool. Now, the uh, reason I declared war on Crimea was pretty uh, pretty easy because Muscovy declared war on their only ally, no guy. So it was basically just me against Crimea, and I knew I was going to easily take them over. So, yeah, that's that. I mean, Byzantium is growing stronger. Um, I do want to go to war with, with uh, Venice, but they're still, they still have their strong allies. Uh, so I don't really know. I, I don't really know if I want to do that. What I could do is nothing right now because I don't have a diplomat. Okay, and we do have, we do need some more cores. We don't even have enough points for that. Whew. Yeah, so we're definitely running low on points. We did get a new technology here, uh, military technology. That's the only, where, the only one where we keep up right now. Maybe I should go back here. I don't know. You know what, actually, we might want to do is... Get a Inquisitor from the clergy because, I mean, national unrest is important, or actually reducing national unrest, but it's more important that we recruit this minister. Uh, so seek support of the clergy. Uh, for some reason, they're pissed about this, I don't know. And recruit a Inquisitor. Yep, that's the one we need, right? Yeah. So there we go. Um, I don't know why they're upset at the moment, but can't really do much about it. Maybe we're going to demand some admin power from them as well. And we're going to switch this guy out. There is the mission of strength. Wow, that's very expensive. I don't think we have that money right now, but we're going to pay for this anyways, because we need the points and we need the conversion strength. As you can see, we have tons of Sunni lands and we're going to convert them fast, but we definitely need that strength. Yeah, so I just quite basically just wanted to quickly show you this. We have some pretty good allies. Now, Teutonic Order, not sure if they're really all that useful. 
Uh, Muscovy will probably accept. There they are. So that's pretty nice. We have some. We have Muscovy is a good ally. We have the Mamluk basically just to stop the Ottomans from expanding. We have Austria. So far, very useful. Uh, we still haven't really found anything against Hungary, to be honest. I mean, they have some rivals. They've rivaled me. Uh, they've rivaled Venice and Poland. Um, and funnily enough, look at all the rivals we have. We have Poland. We have Lithuania, France, Hungary. All of these people rivaled us. Like, what the hell? France rivaled me. This sucks. This sucks real bad because England is not going to help us out. And Castile... Well, I kind of meant to declare war in Castile in order to take over Naples, but I guess I can't. Um, problem is, France is, has, is allied to Austria, so uh, yeah, pretty dire situation, but basically I just wanted to let you guys catch up. And I'm going to go off camera because we're basically just going to deal with rebels. I don't think I'm going to go to war in the state we are in right now. Definitely want to get rid of these forts for now. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show this guys and I'll come back as soon as we can uh, go into another war. Oh guys, so as you can see Austria is calling us into a war against their former ally France. So what happened was Austria is currently in a punitive war against Münster. This is the second punitive war that has been declared against them. And the Teutonic Order has the second time now defended them. Which is kind of annoying because I think I'm going to have to drop the Teutonic Order as an ally. They're just... That's just not useful. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should just break the alliance. Not too sure. Anyway, so Austria calls us in to get in, in a defensive war against France because they actually declared a war on Lorraine. And obviously they're part of the empire, so Austria defends them. Which is good. I mean, it, it's definitely good that they break up their alliance. But it's not good because I don't know if we're in a position to actually fight them. If we have a look at the armies, France has... 70,000 manpower and 50,000 troops. They're going to easily build this up. They're easily going to build this up. That's a lot of men, especially if we consider that Austria is going to have half of these forces. That's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. Um, and I'm, I'm personally, I mean, I don't really have that many men. I just came out of this war and had to deal with rebels, which is probably the bigger problem than the, the actual war. Um, I was... Uh, personally thinking about you know uh, taking over this mess like this region right here is such a mess all of these small nations Circassia, Georgia, Ghazi Kumuk, then we have Karakuyunlu, we have Armenia, Akuyunlu, Iraq like what the heck is going on all of these small nations you know if I, I could easily take this all over with without much effort and that would be a lot of strength added to uh, well the Byzantine Empire and um, I was initially thinking about doing this but I guess we're gonna have to use this chance to uh, kill France and also what I did was I actually set some provinces of interest for myself so we're gonna have a quick look at this I said obviously all of the Hungarian border because I just want these provinces and then I said obviously the coastline here and more importantly I said a couple of provinces from Genoa as uh, special interest because uh, Genoa is allied to France they are in this war as you can see uh, actually let me show you Genoa is in this war against Austria and uh, yeah, I mean that's 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 gonna be interesting. Actually, by the way, how who else do you have? Savoy and Holland. Now Savoy could actually be rather useful. Okay, Savoy Savoy could actually be useful. So yeah, we're gonna accept this, but not immediately. I need to get my fleet ready. So basically, I will uh, completely wreck the the enemy fleet. At least I'll try. That is my, gonna be my job, and. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to see it from there. Definitely gonna go ahead and... Do I, do I join right now? I think so. Yeah, so we're gonna take over uh, all of Genoa here. And our transports, we can get ready to blockade. Uh, at least I think. And um, then we're gonna put our, our navy into the, the Sea of Mamara. And just keep them there to, well, basically protect... Uh, everything so let's see who he's who's actually in the war who who actually joined what, what's this war uh, it is Genoa Sav Savoy did not join Savoy did not decide to join maybe they have not been called in although that would be strange it's a defensive war if I'm not mistaken uh, actually no it's not wait why is it that's so strange French conquest of Lothringen yet we seem to be the attacker or am I just mistaken here let me quickly see this you are the defender. Okay, we are the defender. Okay, so Savoy should join. Savoy should surely join. We'll see, I guess. Uh, how many men do we need here to sack the city? I'm guessing 7,000 somewhat. Yeah. 
Hungarian pretend rebels. So yeah, that's one thing I should probably uh, let you guys know. Hungary is in a big civil war. They have pretender rebels, and they're also, yeah, obviously in a civil war. And they're gonna have to deal with this. I'm hoping that these rebels will just leave my country and go somewhere else. Um, I I'm just hoping this is gonna wreck Hungary for some time. Uh, definitely hope that. Now, uh, Burgundy, you were... You are at war. You're at war with England. Okay, that's too bad. Brabant declared their independence from them. They got absolutely wrecked by the French. French and Austria, actually. They worked together, and now Austria is fighting the French. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do something about this. Actually, can I not? Can I really not grab one of these? Come on, give me one. I just want to besiege these, these lands. At least give me Azov. Azov is the uh, estuary. That would help us out quite a bit. And uh, we are... Blockading this, good. So I think what we're gonna do is send our fleet uh, somewhere over here. Savoy did join. Okay, that's very good. Savoy actually joined. So let me quickly see. We have equal numbers. Actually, a slight advantage on our side. But I mean, obviously, I, that means I would have to contribute all of my troops in the Turian Sea. Um, okay, so Genoa has thirty thousand ships now. Okay, so we're gonna bring in our big, big as navy. Um, and, and deal with these uh, Genoese. Actually, you know what? That's actually a bad idea. In fact, that's a real bad idea because our navy is not up to date. Our navy is not up to date. Ooh, Castile is sending us 105 gold. So yeah, they know that we can help them out. Now, we've been improving relations with Castile, as you can see, because I was hoping that they could... Um, I've, I've actually managed or set my attitude to friendly towards them because I was hoping that we could form an alliance. Now, they're not too happy because they also rivaled Austria, but... In a war against France, Castile and their subjects could be extremely helpful. So I definitely want to have good relations with them. And seeing as 100 gold is definitely a good sign. I wonder if that is enough to already upgrade our ships. Probably not. We need 225. I'm tempted to, even though we have a loan, I'm tempted to actually um, accept that. Our legitimacy is not doing too well. The Burgers, you can give me 100 gold. That would be enough for our ships to heal up. Actually, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to build up our ships... Because if we want to be successful in this naval battle, we need our galleys to be on, to be top notch, to be the newest technology. Basically, we, what's what's going on here? Oh, 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 shoot! When is this guy gonna arrive? 26th of June. God damn it! All right, fine. Let's get our troops over there. Um, it's only 8,000 men. Uh, that annoys me, because he will capture the fort. Mm. I hate that so much. I really hate that so much. <sighs> Ooh, Desmond is giving us 55 gold. Okay, that's awesome. That's definitely gonna help us out. Uh, okay, our fleets are building. Um, you're pl blockading this. There's one cannon that we're gonna probably kill with our infantry. Awesome. Then we're gonna move on to Montrega. I, I'm thinking we should be able to do that. Um, okay, they're landing there. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to destroy their naval dominance there. But we will. I'm pretty confident that we will. We've, we've destroyed Venice. And uh, so yeah. Also our conversions have been going quite well. If we have a look at the religious map right now. Um, we're spreading religion very fast. Even against the Sunni. Which is awesome. And yeah. Obviously we have some reform going on here. Desmond and Scotland. Then we have Protestantism going on. Uh, actually Switzerland has reformed as well. And it's something I'm personally very proud of. Is Armenia. Armenia right here being Coptic. That's, I mean, that's just so cool. Because you never see that. You you hardly ever see that. So I'm very happy that they're around. Uh, and I, I mean, since I don't think I need to conquer them, I'm probably going to keep them around. We're also going to get this last claim here on, on these guys. I would love to attack them. I would love to attack them because they have no friends whatsoever. Uh, it would be just, it would be a perfect opportunity to do, uh, well, take some of their promises, but I can't. I, I need to be focused on this war. Alright guys, come on. You are moving forward. You are our too far too shock. You know what? I might want to give you this guy just so you move a little bit faster. Because I don't want them to take the fort. I don't want them to take the fortress. Yet, uh, that's probably what's going to happen. Darn it. Alright, so there's 8,000 Genoese over here. They have a decent general. Ah, damn it, man. They're going to take the fort. Alright, so Savoy has been beaten. Um... Man, we're going to be too late. That sucks. What I'm going to do with my diplomats? Uh, we are improving relations. Yeah, Dalmatia has fallen. I think we're going to catch them, though. Okay, you're still healing up. That annoys me. 
I'm gonna destroy them and recapture the fort as quickly as possible. But they already have garrison, of course. Of course. Come on. Alright, so definitely we have twice that number. We're gonna definitely kill them. Uh, what's our tech looking like? I think we are pretty good on tech. Yes, we're seven years ahead. Just not in admin, but that's obvious because we are, we've been coring so many things. Um, I should probably, uh, as soon as we're actually ready, we're, um, well, as soon as we've converted everything, I'm going to get rid of this guy and put the National Unrest guy back on. Uh, where's he going anyway? To Ragusa. I'm thinking we might actually stack wipe here. Although I don't know. He might go somewhere else. Actually, it doesn't show that he's going to get attacked here. So I don't know where he's going. Wait, what the heck? Where are you going? He might, oh, you know what? He might be walking all the way back here. That's a possibility. So they just got some more garrison because of that. Oh, man. So France is being overrun. That's obviously a problem. Ooh, and our fleet, stop it. Our fleet is being attacked. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, man. Didn't pay attention. What's, wait, why? Oh, yeah, I've been building ships. I don't know if I want to... What's this? This is... Only eight galleys. Okay, we can fight them. We can fight them. Even with our shitty ships. We have a heavy ship and we obviously... Uh, more galleys than they have. Even if they have better tech galleys. Come on. You gotta hurry up, though. We're definitely gonna turn our fort in Constantinople on because it's our capital. That's important. And I guess, you know what? Might as well. I mean, while I'm at it... Just so that these stupid things can't happen anymore. Just activate all forts. Right? Although, this one's actually truly useless, but that's fine. I, I don't mind losing some transport ships, uh, honestly. Uh, I mean, I don't have to lose them. If I can avoid it, I, I would like to. Come on. You're gonna move. I will at least like to keep 10 ships. Ah, okay, damn it. So he actually managed to grab some of my ships. We might grab some back. What? Why? Whoa, I lost so many. I thought, mm, all right, fine. Anyway, uh, his ship should be pretty shitty. Um, I'm just hoping we're going to be able to win this. We have the heavy ship. We have the purple phoenix at 100 strength. And then here's some galleys. Okay. We did lose a ship. We did lose a ship. Well, obviously, it would have been much more effective if our ships would not be, you know, that weak. But, oh well. What do you gotta do? Okay, we did get our two galleys back. Which is nice. So, let's get them to our trade fleet. I don't know where he's going, but I definitely need to heal up my ships as well. Definitely need to heal up my ships. And I think you're just gonna go... Yeah. Uh, through the thingy. That's probably the best idea. Okay, and here's that guy. Wait, where did he retreat to? Where did he come from? I don't know. We're gonna have to take out these uh, 8,000 men. Man, France is overrunning them. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, but there's, I mean, I'm dealing with these lads here. There's nothing else I can really do at the moment. What's this? Those are, okay, two transport. I didn't actually mean that sh these transport ships to deal with it, but that's fine. Come on, guys, you gotta heal up. Actually, you know what? You're gonna have to heal up in Constantinople. I have a ship war uh, shipyard here that should increase shipbuilding time. Does it also uh, increase the repair? Let me see this. Does it increase ship repair as well? Sailors, sailors. I'm thinking. I I'm I'm pretty sure actually that it does. Because otherwise, you know, that would be kind of, would be kind of strange. It would be kind of strange indeed. Okay, France is doing stuff. I can't really be bothered with France at the moment. Um, what the fuck is it with these guys? Like, what the heck are they actually doing? They're retreating one province. Wait, what? Ugh, come on. They have Ragusa. This is a important center of trade. This is hurting my economy so so much. That they take that. Can we please stack wipe this army? Christ's sake. Alright, so you guys are healing up. Slowly but surely. I definitely want you over here. And you gotta you gotta do 
your job faster, man. Okay, we've got 20 galleys. We definitely need to take out... Oh, man. Why is it taking you so long to heal up? I don't know. Maybe because I've been... So did we actually kill them now? I hope so. I hope that we did. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you're healing up rather slow, actually. Okay, let's combine these forces. I guess I really don't need this fort. Honestly. Anything else? Hmm. What's this? 13,000? What's this? Avignon and Genoa fighting against Savoy. Yeah, but look at this. French running about 22 stack. I mean, Cologne. Come on. What the hell, Cologne? Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay, this is actually Teutonic Order. I see. Ah, this is bad. Are you still at war with the Teutonic Order? Oh, you're still in that stupid other war. Man, if if Austria could even focus on this one war, then we might have a chance. But this way... No, I, basically what I'm hoping is that we can actually siege out Genoa. And that we at least, you know, can separate piece them for... Well, some provinces. That would be at least useful. Definitely gonna have to get these guys out. I don't have any claims, which is the problem. But I'm hoping that uh, we're just gonna be able to uh, get some provinces because I set them as vital interest. At least that's the plan. You know, you never know. You never know what the AI does. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're total dickheads. Like Hungary. But, you know, I'm, I'm actually quite happy to see Hungary struggle. And, oh my god, I didn't even pay attention. Uh, we're standing r outside our fort the entire time. Have it besieged. This is terrible. This is terrible indeed. Uh, national unrest. Lose prestige. Lose prestige. It's fine. We have tons of prestige. Because you're sieging that. Oh man. And they got out. Ugh. And they built shitty forts in each of their... Fucking provinces. Uh, annoys the shit out of me. I wonder if I actually... If I was to leave... Half of my forces here. Take the other half to deal with these people. If that'd be fine. I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah, you're sieging that. Good. Right, you're still healing up. Oh man, this is gonna take ages. You're sieging this. All right. Well, guys, you know what? I think um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue this war a little bit uh, off camera. Well, obviously the goal here is we're gonna uh, fight Genoa. Hopefully they will peace out. We're at least gonna get some provinces. Hopefully, you know, these three plus plus uh, skios that would be four provinces for us. That would be quite lovely. And then. Um, we'll just have to see what we can do about France, but probably nothing at this at this moment in in in, in the game. Uh, it's pretty much likely that they already have Elan. Yeah, they oh yeah, they totally do. Um, so it's unlikely we're gonna really get anything. Um, we we will have to build up pretty big in order to fight France. So uh, I doubt that we're gonna be uh, able to defeat them in this in this war. But anyways, uh, actually I'm gonna stop this uh, episode right here and I'll come back next time but I will go forward in between episodes so uh, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time